Hello everyone, Revelation here. Today I will be showing you how to install mods on Worm Unlimited. The first step we need to take is downloading the client mod launcher from the Worm Online forums. This link and all other links will be provided in the description of the video and on genesisworm.com. We'll go to the GitHub page to download the mod. We'll always want to install the most recent version released and we'll select client mod launcher 0.10.1.zip We'll open it and whatever archive manager you use, WinZip, WinRAR, or the regular Windows utility. And we need to move these files into our worm launcher directory. The easiest way to do that is to open Steam, go to our library, right click on Worm Unlimited, and click Properties. In our Properties window, We'll select the Local Files tab, and we'll click Browse Local Files. Here's our Worm Unlimited directory. Now we'll need to go into our Worm Launcher folder. This is where we will copy and paste or drag and drop the files. Once this is completed, we can close out of our client mod launcher zip file, and we'll run patcher.bat. This batch file patches the client and allows us to use mods. There are two steps you need to ensure that have been completed in order for mods to work. The first is client is now patched in this window. And the second is client-patch.jar being located within the folder. If these two things did not occur, then something has gone wrong. You may need to run it as an administrator or you may have previously attempted to patch your worm launcher and failed. If, any of the, if that is the case, then what you'll need to do is come back to your properties window and verify your the integrity of your game files. By doing so, it'll download a fresh copy of any file that has been changed and then run patcher.bat again. Since we didn't have that issue, we don't need to do it here. And now we have a mods folder. The client mod launcher comes with connection fix, custom map, and server packs. These are not inherently useful unless your server that you're using uses these. So what we'll do is we'll go to the complete mod list on Worm Online forums, which will also be included as a link in the description of this video. And we'll locate client mods. So this is divided into two sections, server mods and client mods. If you download and install server mods, any of these server mods on your client, uh, it will cause issues. So make sure that you're going all the way down to where it says client mods to install anything. There are tons of client mods uh, with various functionalities. Uh, you can you know, look at each one. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be installing LiveMap. So LiveMap shows that you'll have a new minimap window while you're playing Worm that you can choose to have in 3D, flat, or topographical view, as well as have a cave view to sort of help you navigate around and locate ores. It does require client mod loader, which we have already installed. So we'll go to the GitHub page to install live map. And it's a very similar process. We just download it, open up the zip file, and you can drag and drop this, but I prefer to go into the mods section and grab this here and just drag it here. And that's it. This mod now works natively. There are some things that you can change about this. Uh, you can open the properties file in any text editing application. And so here it says, do you want to use the high res map? If so, you'll change this to true. What this is going to do is it's going to give you a larger mini map area. And then this asks, do you want it to display ores that you have not found? Uh, if you like to prospect, you'll probably want to leave this false. If you want to be able to navigate directly to the ores within your cave, Go ahead and set it to true. We'll close and we'll save the changes. And that's all it takes. So we should be able to now launch Worm Unlimited through Steam and have our live map.
Now here we are in game with our new live map. You may need to enable it. By doing so, you can either just go to stop main menu or press escape and then click live map. And here it is. All other mods that you want to install will follow the same process. I hope this video tutorial clears up any confusion on how to install mods for Worm Unlimited. And if you do need help, reach out to myself or any other member of staff on Genesis and we will be happy to help get you pointed in the right direction. Thanks for watching.